Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. So today we will be making a traditional Korean snack that has been enjoyed by many, 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 many people for so many years. I certainly grew up having koguma and that's in Korean sweet potato. Typically you can find this at any Korean grocery stores, but if you go to any non-Korean produce stores, these are typically called Japanese yams. The skin color is sort of this wine color, um, so how you would know if you bought the right kind is if you cut it in half, it's almost white beige color. And also if you have this raw, it's kind of sweet. So it's a good crunchy snack if you want to cut it up and serve it with hummus. Um, the kids will really like that. Um, so that's an idea. The way I grew up having them is both steamed and also roasted, but roasting is not something that many Koreans, especially back when I was growing up, uh, would do at home. These would be roasted in this like gigantic canister oven that was sort of man-made with like charcoal on the bottom and then they would have these pull out sleeves where these potatoes would go in and they would just literally roast in this big canister you know it was typically a neighborhood person that would wheel around this big gadget that today we're gonna be roasting them in the oven so i like to have them roasted preferably because it just comes out a bit sweeter and i like the way the skin kind of caramelizes and um, so that's my preference but you could certainly steam this at home as well so before we do that just wash it well and then you just want to cut the tips off like this because these tips tend to be kind of bitter in taste so i usually just cut the ends off like that if you are steaming it make sure you steam it for at least 20 to 25 minutes and that there's sufficient water in the bottom and that the lid is fully fully closed and i will have all this information on my blog at modernpepper.com and as always i would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel because i would love to connect with you every thursday which is the day that i upload new videos so bake these for, for an hour at 350 degrees so i'm going to show you how it's eaten traditionally and also i'm going to show you my way of creating this into a dessert and we're going to make it a la mode with some yummy yummy ice cream so i'll see you in an hour hi so it has been an hour since our sweet potatoes or our korean koguma has been in the oven at 350. it's still in good shape but you could just tell that there's a lot of softness and that's what we're looking for and it just smells really really sweet and you could just kind of smell the butteriness of the sweet potato hi so. james hi mommy <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to taste some Korean sweet potatoes with me? Sure! Okay, so the first one is the raw one that mommy just cut up, right? This is raw. I didn't cook it. I just peel the skin off and then we're gonna have it with some hummus. Can I feed you? Sure. Mm. So how does raw sweet potatoes taste with hummus? Pretty good. Nice and a Bit sweet. Bit sweet? Mm-hmm. It, mm -hmm. it kind of tastes like pita chips or pa potato chips, more plain. Yeah? Not as greasy as potato chips though, right? No. But you like it? Do you like it with hummus? Yeah, it's really good. Yeah? Do you think it's a good healthy snack? Yeah, I guess I might have it all, all the time after school. <laughs> Did mommy tell you to say all these things? No. <laughs> Is it your honest opinion? Yes. <laughs> All right. So the second way I like to have it is I just like literally break it in half like that. Ooh. Ooh. So how, how does it smell? Actually, it's really nice and sweet. Okay. It smells sweet, right? So yeah. I just peel it off like that. It just comes off so easily when you roast it. So we're just going to put a little bit of butter on this and then... I'm gonna have a bite. Mmm. That is surprisingly really, really good. Yeah? What's good about it? It's sweet and like it's melting in my mouth. Yes, yeah, melting in your mouth. Yeah. yeah. The butter, like, 
makes it more smooth and nice. Wow. Mm. Oh, you're so sweet. I did not coach him to say that. This is really good. So in the morning, I would have this with my coffee. It's just, it's sweet, but it's the perfect starch to have, I think, because it just satisfies sort of the sweetness and also the starch part that we always crave. So this is one of my go-to favorite breakfasts to have. Mommy's gonna try it with kimchi. I don't think you want to, but you could watch me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the sort of the real traditional way is to have it with a piece of kimchi right you just put it on top yeah and then you just take a bite take a bite mm -hmm. mm. Mm. so you would think that kimchi and sweet potato is like no 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 but it's one of those odd combinations that really work well together because you have the sweet creamy butter buttery sweet potato and then you have sort of the tangy vinegary crunchy kimchi and just together in your mouth it's like this odd but perfect combination so this is how i grew up eating it eating it with my grandmother and she would kind of always like feed me and throw a little piece of kimchi on top and give it to me so bless her heart i hope you try this at home and you know maybe you'll like it maybe you won't so this is a traditional way to have it but certainly you could have it without the kimchi too now we're going to move on to our third option which is coming up next hi everyone so we're going to get started on lightly toasting our roasted sweet potatoes with some butter and serving it with some ice cream yum so we're just going to take some butter and put it on each side just a little bit not a lot like so on each side and we're just going to put it down and let that sizzle for about a minute to middle and a half or until golden brown so it has been about good 90 seconds and we're just gonna turn it to the other side. So we just want that little bit of that brown mark on one side and then reverse it. Same thing, just a little bit of that brown mark and just turn everything over and then repeat the process and let that hang out for about a good 60 to 90 seconds or until golden brown. So we just finished toasting our roasted sweet potato on each side with a little bit of butter and we're gonna have it with a little bit of ice cream do you want to taste it yeah! yeah here's just a little bit of vanilla ice cream and some korean roasted sweet potatoes yeah. you excited mm. mint chocolate ice cream mm. is this a good dessert yeah yeah what makes it a good dessert it tastes good mm -hmm. and this is nice gold and rich and really blended with the ice cream i'm gonna have a taste too mm. the roasted potato is sweet but not sugary sweet so it's a good substitute if you don't want to have like cake so this would be a healthier option with a little bit of ice cream calm down you could have it all right so should we say bye Bye. And hit the like button, the right? Like button. And like. The, the like. <laughs> and I hope you try this at home. So make sure to subscribe by clicking on that subscribe button below. And make sure to please, if you enjoyed watching this video, to click on the like button. The like button looks like this, right? Yeah. Like thumbs. that. Thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you very soon. Bye now.